What's up guys, Dirk here from IntelligentCryptocurrency.com and in today's video, I just want to give you a bit of words of guidance and a bit of words of wisdom on what I'm personally doing that I think everyone should be doing if you are serious about making gains throughout the next bull market in cryptocurrency. So if that's the kind of thing that you like and you want to hear more tips, experience, insights, into cryptocurrencies, how to get started, how it all works, please consider subscribing to the channel below and click the notification bell when you do. And as always, in all my videos, as soon as the video gets 50 likes, 5-0, leave a comment below. I will randomly choose someone who left a comment and give them $50 worth of Ethereum. Helps get the engagement up and, you know, it's a win-win for all you guys because, you know, there's a chance you win 50 bucks in Ethereum. So, what I want to talk about now is especially since we've been seeing a lot of bull market type trends and action over the past few months, past few weeks, where it's starting to get seriously deja vu style of, of 2017, you know, where we're starting to see coins do 10x, 20x, crazy amounts of numbers just in a period of days, even in, in weeks. And we're just starting to see these coins pop. And the key thing that I want to remind you here is to have a trading plan and to stick to it. Okay. So I was present for the whole 2017, 2018 bull run. I saw the whole thing go from, from Bitcoin being, you know, two and a half thousand dollars and then continuing and just going up and up and up and not stopping. And I saw the altcoins go crazy. I remember seeing Ethereum when it moved from $12 to $66. And I thought, you know, this is the end. This is crazy. Like compared to traditional markets, it's absolutely nuts. And then it just went to $400 and it went to $1,400 afterwards. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is if this is indeed a new bull market and this cycle is repeating 2017 style, we're only just getting started. And these kind of gains that we're seeing 10 X, 20 X, 50 X, we're going to keep seeing that for months and months and months to come. So what that means is you need a game plan, you need a strategy and you need to be able to stick to it. And there is one word that I can tell you right now that can make you a heck of a lot of profit. And that word is quite simply patience. Okay. So, if this is a bull market repeat of the cycle of 2017, which personally I'm starting to think very much it's looking like that is the actual case and that's what we're getting. Okay. Um, I've made multiple videos on that. I'll link to them up top here where I went through the cycle, um, you know, and the cycle projection in terms of time, which means if the cycle were to repeat, you know, we're looking at probably at least another six months, if not 12 to 18 months before this cycle reaches its new peak, which means that, you know, if you get tempted to sell too early and the market continues going up for another year, you're going to be kicking yourself. At the same time, if there are pumps, coins that have pumped by 10x, 20x, 30x, and you start to feel the FOMO and you start buying those coins in once they've pumped so much, then, you know, the coin could drop and you could end up losing. And there's actually stories about people who've done that. It's, it's, it's a common trap, actually, that you want to try and avoid as much as possible. So let's hop over here into, into um, CoinGecko. And what I'm talking about here is that we're just seeing some coins, not all of them, some coins, more and more, but some coins are starting to pop, right? And the frustrating thing is, if you're not holding any of the coins that are doing a 5x or a 10x or a 20x or a 30x, and you're just sitting there watching your coins do very little, maybe they've doubled while other coins are going up 10x, 20x, right? And it's frustrating, I know, right? So for example, we saw Link go from $2 to $18 over the past few months. Absolutely nuts. There's other coins like Band um, that has done absolutely crazy. Lend, of course, that's been absolutely nuts. Since September last year, it's done almost 100x um, till, till recently. So it's, it's been absolutely crazy. And it's frustrating if you don't own those coins. But what you have to be very careful of is the, the FOMO. Because if you have a bunch of coins that you bought for whatever reason, maybe you looked into the team or the fundamentals or whatever the case is, and you see all these other coins pumping and your coin isn't, 
right? I know how that feels. I'm, I'm seeing that on a daily basis too. I'm like, oh, I wish I had Link. Or I wish I had Band. Or I wish I had uh, this. Or I wish I had that, you know, and I'm seeing them pump. And then the problem is if you start selling your coins that haven't pumped yet to chase into coins that have already pumped 10 or 20 X, the problem there is that you might be buying in at local tops. Sure, the coins might continue much higher over the next 6, 12, 18 months. But if you start selling them, your coins that haven't pumped to buy in the coins that have already pumped that much, then your risk for those coins that you're chasing to drop 20, 30, 50% temporarily is much bigger. And then because you're buying in out of an emotion, out of FOMO, out of fear or greed, greed is the fear of not having enough. If you buy in because of that, that FOMO, then you don't really believe in the coin. So if you buy in and it starts dropping 30, 40%, you're going to be much more tempted to sell it at a loss. And then all of a sudden, you've just lost a heck of a lot of money. And then if it keeps happening, right? So you buy into the one coin that's pumped, it drops, you sell, you chase another coin that's pumped, it does the exact same thing. I've seen countless stories of people who have done this exact same thing, who have lost their entire cryptocurrency portfolios or large parts of it chasing these pumps and doing this exact thing, what I've just described. So be very, very careful of it. OK, personally, I think if there is going to be this next bull market for the next six, 12 months, I think in general, as long as you have good quality coins, they're all going to go up. A rising tide lifts all boats. And right now, I think that the crypto market is still very connected, right? All the coins move in tandem. There's very few cases where individual coins only pump because um, not only are, are all the altcoins kind of tied together to, to Bitcoin and then Ethereum, and there's a lot of bot trading. So there's all these algorithms and, and bots that are programmed that, you know, if the market moves, they buy certain coins based on certain criteria, based on, um, you know, percentages and, and uh, possible ROIs and things like that. So thing you also have to remember, this is all about ROI. Um, a lot of it isn't even fundamental based and sure there's projects and, and you should try and look for coins that have a real use case and a real team and that are really going to work towards building something but a lot of it is purely also based around momentum and money and a lot of people don't even care about the fundamentals if a coin um, is technically looking like it wants to pump or get set up there's people who buy it purely based on that there's even bots that buy it just purely based on numbers and and technical data so you have to be aware of this. And if all these other coins are pumping and your coin hasn't pumped just yet, basically what that means is that these coins that have already pumped have a much higher downside risk and a lower upside continuation ROI versus the coin that hasn't pumped yet that you're still holding, which because it hasn't pumped yet has a lower downside risk in a bull market, but the upside risk or the upside potential for the ROI is much higher and like I said, people are just looking for ROI, coins that haven't pumped yet, especially once the bull market really gets going and things start pumping like crazy, the coins that haven't pumped yet, they're likely going to get their turn and their day in the sun. So that's why I say, be patient, okay? If your coin hasn't pumped yet, don't go and sell it and buy and FOMO in to chase something that has already pumped 10 or 20x. It's a very important uh, part of actually being able to keep your portfolio and be able to make profits during this bull run. And then, um, like I said, if this is the bull run that we're hoping for and the cycles are going to repeat, which it's very much looking like it, this whole DeFi craze is basically following the ICO craze of 2017 in a way. There's all these new projects coming out. The money being locked up in DeFi is very similar to the amount of funding in ICOs um, in 2016, 2017. So maybe that whole cycle is repeating once again. And if it is, well, the Bitcoin halving was only in May this year. So we're only three months in to this new cycle. And usually that cycle, the past two times, has peaked anywhere between 12 and 18 months after the halving, which means that we would be looking at somewhere in a minimum of about May next year towards possibly the end of next year, maybe even early 2022 for this whole cycle to peak. So what that means is that patience is going to be very, very important. And especially if you're still holding on to coins that you maybe bought 2017, 2018, right, that have been underwater for so long and a, a big trap 
that could cost you a lot of potential profits is if you've been holding on to a coin like this and this coin finally gets to break even or it gets to a profit of 10 or 20 percent and you just completely sell out of that coin because you're just finally so happy that it's gotten above water and that there's a tiny profit you don't have a loss anymore maybe you were down 90 80 percent on the coin for a year or for two years and you finally get this chance to sell it at break even or at a small profit but what if that market just continues to go for another year and that coin continues to go 10x and you just sold for break even after holding it for two years all that pain all that emotional suffering of holding on to this coin for so long only to sell it for break even now i'm not saying you shouldn't sell a coin if you don't believe in it anymore or if you think something's changed fundamentally or whatever the case is again i'm not a financial advisor as you know so i can't tell you what to do with your money but just be aware of this okay and if you bought a coin for certain reasons and you held it for so long and it was underwater why do you want to sell it at break even just asking you that question think about it because it's very very important because and and this happens in not just in cryptocurrency but pretty much in all bull markets after the bear market the people that did hold through it right it becomes so so tempting to sell a break even or even at a small profit just because you you finally got your capital back you know you can be stress-free and then the market continues to go higher now that's cool if you do that and you are done with crypto and you never want to buy crypto again that's cool but if you're planning to sell and break even or a small profit just to get out of it, just to feel that sense of relief, but you watch the market go up and up and up, then don't buy in when it's much, much higher again, because then you just lost out on a huge amount of gains. So be very careful of that too. That's a big psychology lesson and, and it works in all markets, but it's so, so typical in, in Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin crashes to $4,000 and people don't want to touch it, right? They're like, oh, you know, Bitcoin's going to zero. I don't want to touch it, blah, blah, blah. Then it goes to $10,000, 12, 15, $20,000. And all of a sudden people want to buy Bitcoin. It's the same Bitcoin. Fundamentals haven't changed. In fact, the, the hash rate, the, the computer power behind Bitcoin has probably gotten even stronger and the fundamentals have gotten even stronger, but it's still the same Bitcoin. So why do you want to buy it at 20,000 and not at 4,000, right? So you got to think about why are you getting involved in cryptocurrency? Why are you putting your fiat currency, your hard-earned money into crypto? You know, why are you doing it in the first place? And what is the difference if it's here right now or if it drops by 50% or it increases by 200%? The more it increases, the more aware you should get of buying more because, you know, the higher it goes, the higher the risk of a pullback or a correction or maybe even a new bear market. Now, I don't think we're anywhere near a new bear market. If the cycles repeat, you know, we could be looking at starting a new bear market, possibly maybe in 2022. Okay. Again, that's if the cycles repeat. Who knows what's going to happen? I can't see the future. But I do think there's a really, really good chance that the cycles are going to repeat and that we do have at least multiple months left of this bull market and that we are only getting started because I still think that retail FOMO has not really begun just yet. Okay. People are still sitting on the fence. Most people don't even really follow it anymore. There's not massive mainstream media coverage about it yet. And yes, we are starting to see more movement and Bitcoin is still at just over 11,000 at this point in time. But you know, it, it really hasn't started yet. I, when, when your friends and your family are sitting at the dinner table and talking about, oh, Bitcoin, you know, are you going to buy some Bitcoin? I, I want to buy some Bitcoin. How do I get started? That's when it starts getting crazy, but it hasn't gotten crazy just yet. And then that last euphoria, those last one, two, three months when things really start to go crazy. That's when you want to start looking to get out when everyone is starting to look to get in. But at this point in time, I still don't really feel that. I feel there is a bit of a mania and a bit of a euphoria around the DeFi stuff, especially based around the, the hardcore crypto community, for example, on, on Twitter and on forums where, you know, people are just buying all these DeFi coins left and right and talking about it and, and crazy euphoric. But most people don't even know what DeFi is yet. So I don't think the widespread retail mania euphoria is here at all. I don't think it has even begun. So the key word is basically patience. And you know, this may sound crazy, but you could actually make more money by just not looking at your computer for a few weeks and just holding on to your portfolio, go enjoy life, work in your hobbies, go to the gym, you know, read a book, spend time in the garden, whatever it is that you want to do, 
rather than you know logging in every day trying to trade trying to buy coins and this and that and just stressing yourself out too much there's a time when just being patient and letting the market uh, market cycle do its thing without you having to actively do anything at all if you've got your positions you know your plan you know that's potentially a very very good strategy just sit and wait you got your bags loaded let the market do the heavy lifting for you be patient and then when the market hits your targets then remember to protect your capital right remove your initial capital take profits you know if you don't have a cash out strategy just yet i did make a video i'll link to it up here basically where i shared my thoughts about how i'm going to cash out and, and what i'm personally going to be doing if you don't have a cash out strategy yet make one for yourself it's going to be very very important because even now in the early stages when we're starting to see coins you know there's that that euphoria that really clouds your judgment the adrenaline from seeing your positions going up every time you look at at, at uh, your your block folio or whatever you see you making more money you're richer every single day you know it, it messes with your judgment and then once that all disappears you know you'll you'll start to ask yourself questions like how could i be so stupid to not cash out or to not take profits you know i was up blah 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 and it, it just really clouds your your judgment in the time okay so you can't rely on yourself to actually make sensible decisions in the heat of battle in the heat of the moment when everything's going crazy and there's a euphoria you can't trust yourself to make logical decisions to be able to cash out and stuff like that which is why you need to plan it before the time so that when it hits your targets you just follow that you just execute it doesn't matter no emotion evolved uh, you take the profits and you stick to your plan and that is probably the best advice that i can give you not financial advice the best advice from my experience that i can give you about um, how to be as profitable and, and make as much money as possible from this coming crypto bull run so remember the key word is patience now if you did enjoy this video once again do consider subscribing to the channel below click the notification bell smash that like button and leave a comment and you will stand a chance to actually win $50 in Ethereum if this video hits 50 likes and more. So thanks for watching guys. Be safe, create your trading plan and I will see you in the next video.